Hey everyone, it's Swift here from Eurobike. Over the next few days, we're going to be giving you daily updates on just what's happening here in Friedrichshafen that may have an impact on your Swifting experience. In Friedrichshafen, beautiful Germany, right next to Lake Constance, all bike brands from across the world. Everything is here on display. It's a massive playground for cycling, and it's really fun just to walk the halls and see what's on display. We're going to be sitting down with several trainer manufacturers, so that's the Wahoos, the Cyclops, and the Taxes, to see just what they've been up to over the last year and someone we spoke to was actually tax so let's hear what they had to say Marai, tax have taken over our booth i see a tax flux too i see a tax neo and the neo bike do you want to talk about this one first okay yeah. so what exactly are we seeing here what we're seeing here is the newest uh, smart bike and it's a neo bike and actually we we took the neo technology and uh, we made a smart bike out of it so um it has the specifications of the NEO and it's really powerful and accurate up to 1%. So yeah, it's re really realistic uh, riding on this bike. And to improve that, we added more fe features so you can actually experience real riding a bike on this NEO bike. So yeah. One thing I noticed was the shifting on this bike is probably the best shifting I've ever experienced. What's, what's the secret? Um, it's virtual shifting, there's no chain and no cassette, but you can adapt it. You can actually choose which crank set you want on the bike or which cassette. Like if you're used to riding a compact, you can just adjust the bike. So you're riding the same as your road bike and the shifting, um, if you shift, you really feel the chain moving or the virtual chain because there is no, but yeah, you actually feel the click and the resistance changed right away. So yeah, it's, it's, it's almost the same as riding a road bike. And the next thing, explain these, explain the fans. Like, looks like something out of Star Wars. Yeah, I really like them. Um, they're kind of gadgets, because, but really practical because uh, the fans adjust to the way you're riding. So if you speed up, the wind is, uh, the air is increasing, but uh, you can, actually do it with speed or heart rate or power uh, but if you don't like that you can just set them on a standard uh, speed so yeah i think the question everyone is wondering does it work with swift yes of course bluetooth and m plus yes of course it's fully connected nice next up flux 2 to walk over here it's different to the flux 2 uh, one of the different things uh, you can actually see it right away we lowered it down a bit um, so we adjusted the, the, the design and um, because we lowered it, you can actually ride it with bikes with longer cages. So if you have a longer derrier, you can just use the flux now. So that's one of the uh, things we adjust and we improved. And uh, on the other side, um, we improved the technique inside. We added a more heavier uh, flywheel so you can actually, it feels more realistic riding it and it's way more powerful than before. So now it's truly a mini Neo, is that it? Uh, it's a flux, but yeah, it's improved a lot. So yeah, it, it's, it's kind of the little sister of the Neo, yeah. So the question is, which one are you more excited for, the Flux 2 or the Neo bike? Uh, I think the Flux 2 makes it really easy for people to have a really good driver drive trainer. But of course, the Neo bike is it's something special. It's really unique and riding it, it feels so real that, yeah. I'm really excited about the Neo bike. Thank you. So how about that Neo bike? It really looks like it's going to revolutionize the way smart trainers are going to be ridden on Swift. It's talking about more revolutionizing stuff. We have CEO and co-founder of Swift, Eric Min, ready to walk the halls. It's pretty cool. I like the uh, the shifting that yeah. you can. Yeah, and then right away it kicks into the big gear. You can feel that transition, which is very very authentic. It's very quiet. Programmable. Yeah, programmable. Great. And the levers are normal brake levers. Uh -huh. and you can uh, brake and uh, the 
So I can now break. So if I wanted to, I just I squeeze and then it slows down. And then I can make a, a, a quick U-turn. Um, does it require any calibration? No calibration and no maintenance. So it's always, uh, of course, the gears are always attuned. Mm -hmm. And so uh, the, the trainer itself, the, the, the motor, yeah. is identical to the Neo? Yeah, exactly, yeah, to the Neo, yeah. OK. I need all these new toys. <laughs> That was really exciting. Antibacterial. This is a good one. I need this. Because then I don't have to use baby wipes anymore. <laughs> it's multi purpose all over. Okay. So it could be, it'd be for your bike, your, um, it'd be your trainer. Okay. Um, kills 99.9% of germs. Just Buddy is a uh, triathlete. Yeah. So he does a lot of like just training in, in, in his garage. So what we did is we coated two uh, two of the bolts with with sweat yeah. protectant. Two of out. After a week or so, they were rusty, and the other ones weren't. I so see. It stops rust. Do you do you recommend that people put this on the bars before they put the tape on? Would that help? So that's Eric Min's top picks today here from Eurobike. Now let's go talk to someone else in the Swift community who's quite excited about quite a lot of stuff presented here today at Eurobike. Shay Miller, GP Lama, this must be your definition of heaven. This is what I'd call Christmas in July. We are in July, I don't know what time zone I'm in, but absolutely today we saw so many new products. We wish we would have saw them last year, but we've seen them today. I had six videos drop this morning, all to do with indoor cycling and people having a better experience with this new technology. So it's, it is Christmas in July. We are Swift focused, both you and I. So with that in mind, what new invention, what new tech have you seen that has you most excited for this upcoming winter? Oh, good question. I think the smart bikes are evolving. And I'm not sure if they're there, but I think that the progression we're seeing in the smart bike area is pretty good. The trainers are pretty much a solved problem. We're seeing things around the edges like they're being quieter, they're being more accurate, more axle compatibility. That's pretty much a solved problem. Power meters and indoor power, again, it's a solved problem. But these smart bikes are new, and they are coming up with a few issues that I've seen in the past. And I've seen a few of those issues addressed with other products coming to market. So I'd say the smart bike, but the smart bike market, but I'm not quite sure if it's going to be the solution yet. That's a wrap from day one, Swift at Eurobike. Shane, you mentioned the six videos of new tech here at Eurobike. Where can people find it? Over on YouTube, uh, GP Llama, 1L on the Llama, and uh, you'll see them all drop there. And uh, yeah, a lot of views happening already. They skyrocketed as soon as they dropped this morning once embargo lifts. So a lot of cool technology to talk about and to show off. And uh, yeah, more to come. It's only day one. We've still got day two and day three to go. Looking forward to it. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.